Hey everybody, uh, this is Living Local 409. Now, if you remember, I did a mural fest where I went around looking at all of the murals that the Beaumont area had to offer. And somebody reached out to me because she wanted to tell her story to all of the murals that she did. I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite muralists. And so today, I have with me the talented Ennis Alvarez. I hope I said it right. No, you did perfect. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I am so excited uh, when I saw you documenting and and I wish I was with you on your tour because I, I took the time to, or I got the opportunity to actually meet the muralists mm -hmm. and ask them all the questions and get to know where they were from and what the message was. I'm like, oh my God, if I was just with him. <laughs> um, and I hope we get to do that or you get to do that when they come back. Yes. But I say it. I don't get to, I didn't get to help you with that one, but I can help you with my own art. Like I can tell you what those uh, birds mean. I can tell you what the alligator means. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what those dragonfly means uh, and et cetera. But so you, you say yes, and that's why we're here. <laughs> so we're really excited. It's gonna be a fun day. Yes. And it's a lot to see. Like I was just looking and thinking about the places we need to stop by. Uh -huh. And I think I added a few more, so. Oh, okay, yeah. great, great. <laughs> we get to see the full experience. Yes. Now, before we even get on that, there was some things I wanted to ask you, just so people who don't know you get to know you a little bit. Some like me, I was reading about you, so I, I knew that there were some things, but one thing I wanted to ask you is, first, what made you start getting into art? Oh. Or was this just something, as soon as you were a baby, you were like, give me some paint? <laughs> I go back to kindergarten. Oh, okay. I go back to to just in my recent, my most recent project. I was cutting pieces of paper and gluing them, and I'm like, oh my god, this is exactly what I did in kindergarten. <laughs> and as an adult, I'm doing it for a very important commission. Okay. Uh, and I I spoke to the person that commissioned the pieces. I said, look. I, this morning I felt like a kindergarten again, like mm. I was pasting and cutting. And what I realized is so important. I put the same dedication and it felt the same, as important as it does right now. Oh. Like I remember just being a little kid doing art and it was a big deal. Yeah. It was not just a piece of paper and it was not just crayons or watercolor. Gotcha. It was, it was relevant, it was important. important. But I have no clue what that meant. I just knew it was a big deal for me as a child. Yeah. So I know it has been from from since I can remember, since the first time I touch a, I don't know what it was. I can even recall what was it that I I did first. Uh -huh. But when I moved to the U.S. and I felt this <sighs> not being available or able to communicate. I remember doing artwork for the first time. I felt like I was speaking to people. Uh, okay. I felt like I was able to communicate farther. And it was in high school that I was really provided all the tools. Mm -hmm. The art department had everything I wanted to try and use. Awesome. awesome. And I have really supported teachers that I still, until today, I'm friends with and I keep up with them. And they were like the people that said, get out there you like it keep doing it keep gotcha. doing it okay so, yeah thanks okay. to all of them good good okay the next question i wanted to ask you what was your first memorable art piece that you ever did oh okay that's hard uh, I, I knew it would be hard i knew it would be hard there's so many <laughs> but the first, the first was, yeah the first one Cause I'll give you, I'll give you a, a thing about me. I used to do sketch art. I used to love doing it in high school. Now I didn't have anybody to nurture it, so it kind of faded a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I only could do cartoon. I was very, I was so <laughs> upset because I wanted to do real life. Like I, I always tried to draw people like realistically, and it just looked cartoony. Like that's just what I was. But um, I remember the first memorable thing I did was Ninja Turtles. That's when I knew I had talent because I was in elementary. I believe I was third grade, and I drew the Ninja Turtles. And my friend, I did it at school, and my friends were like, "Draw me one! Draw me one! This is awesome!" And I was just like. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> so I drew okay. it. That was my first memorable. Good. So let me see. What do you have? You're so good. Because what you did, you just unblocked this part of my brain that has been like <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> I 
I was gonna be like, oh, in high school I did this realistic, uh, beautiful reflection of the water in the bayou. I was gonna go with that. Okay. But you told me your story, so I can go farther back. And you know what was mine? Uh huh. <laughs> It was Tweety, you know, oh, from the- Oh, Tweety Bird. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was obsessed drawing him. And the, I, I mean, I can still today see the shape, the mm -hmm. big eyes. And that was one of the first things that I kept doing over and over. And people were like, God, that is so good. I'm like, you think so? <laughs> it was me drawing a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. So, That's when you, you realize that you have, you, have, you have better talent because I thought people could do that. And then it wasn't until people were like, all I can do is stick figures. And I was like, you could just do stick figures? <laughs> I didn't know that I was talented. So yeah, that's when my, cause I didn't, nobody really told me I was talented with that until I was drawing them. And then they were like, no dude, that nobody can just do that. You know, so no, great, you. Tweety Bird, you know, Tweety, Bear. Tweety Bird I brings you him. back to the Looney Tunes type mindset. And I tell you a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. Now you just have unblocked this part. <laughs> So I used to do it on paper, uh -huh. like over and over, like drawing him the feet I can see clear, the little tiny body and the big giant head. Mm -hmm. Then the first time I painted, this uh. is really cool. The very first, oh, I'm not gonna get emotional, I'll do that often. <laughs> the very first time I painted was this, um, what do you call piggy bank? You know, when you put your yes, coins? Yes. But it was in the shape of Tweety. Oh. And that was the first time I painted anything. Man. And that was the same thing. And I'm like, oh my God, it's all like. <laughs> Yeah. Before we before we go off, let me just say um, I want to say the one thing about your artwork that I love is that, uh, and you said this in a uh, your about piece. I was looking at that, and I, I it was funny because that's exactly what I thought of when I thought of you. Is that when I look at your artwork, it brings smiles. Like I don't know anybody who can look at your stuff and not just be like, oh, this is good, you know. And that's when I when I look at your pieces. I'd be like, it invokes joy. That's what I say. I, I will say there is nothing I've looked at that you have made that I did not say, this is enjoyable. Yeah. And that's the reason why I was so happy you reached out. Mm -hmm. So moving on with that, I see that you did the benches here. Yes. Um, do you have a story behind that and what, what accumulated into that? Yes, so from the beginning, and I'm gonna repeat it because I think it's important for me to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep saying I make friendly abstract straight from the heart, always with the hope to put a smile on your face. Yes. Uh, friendly abstract, I want it to be, I want you to be able to recognize what you're looking at, but I don't want it to be uh, so realistic that the people that love abstract just, eh, I don't want to, like, I want to gotcha. I I hope that I can get their, their attention in a friendly way. Gotcha. And once I do that, my hope entirely is so I can put a smile on their face. Good. Um, the benches were so, this is one of my favorite places in Bowman. This is like church, like um, every time I come in, it's a different sunrise. The birds have a different song. I always told them it's like an orchestra, like a uh, symphony waiting for you. Okay. They're gonna play no matter who shows up. <laughs> so I'm like, it's free ticket, all you have to do is show up. So when I was uh, ready to start with commission, I knew I wanted to embrace the alligators, mm -hmm. the blue herons, the, the, the nature itself around it, but every table has a story. Gotcha. Alligator is the watcher. Oh. I told people, we think we're watching them. No, every time we walk, we run, we go by, they're the ones watching us. I can so believe it. <laughs> that's it. The great uh, greats is two blue herons. I really tell you, I cannot paint something I haven't experienced. Uh. So if I paint a uh, blue heron, it's because one day these blue herons took right next to me Man. at night. He didn't care, he was fishing at the event center. Never seen a bird that big in my life. <laughs> And I was just thinking, what is this? Like, it was out of this planet. Yeah. That's how it felt. So I did those celebrating their massive size and their beauty. The last one has dragonflies and uh, bees and flowers. And that one is called In Love. In Love. So the, the actual, the, the actual, the essence of them is they making one thing grow far there so they're okay. creating that is true pollinators yeah. okay. so they really doing the act of love gotcha uh, so that was the story behind that so 
Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Well, I want you to go out. If you've never been to Cattail Marsh, I don't know how long you've been in Beaumont, um, but you probably didn't even realize this was back here. I'll tell you, I didn't. I've only been like invited to parties and things of that nature. And like I said about the Cattail, you know, me and alligators don't mix. <laughs> <laughs> is this your first time here? This is my first time here. Oh, I, I like crazy. really, really excited. Yeah, yeah. So looking at this artwork for the first time, it really, really, like I said, invokes the joy of, man, this looks awesome. And the story even fits with how the, the, the drawings are even placed on there. So if you haven't been out there, you need to come out here and view it. And, and she said the sunrise is amazing. And if you have seen it, let us know in the comments what did it invoke in you when you seen the sunrise because even right now it looks so nice so we're gonna go and start moving on to the next artwork so she can explain about that